nine, the baggage we claimed conveyor belt you thought it was going to be? I was, I was sure it would be between eight and eleven. So I'm so sure you, to you, to you, I'm not, I'm not, sub, I'm not surprised. Yeah, you. <laughs> he knows a lot about baggage reclaim. So <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, you've got me surprised. Well, I have. Yeah, no, well, pointing a camera. We're in Rome you. now. Um, <laughs> we're in Rome. As you can see, now. I have been here before, so I know this area like the back he of my hand. He's, he's our local. Um, obviously, <laughs> obviously, he, <laughs> he's the expert at baggage reclaim. <laughs> so you better ask yeah. him. So in a minute, we're going to be moving to your territory. But at the moment, Hill's really the guide. Yeah, he really is the guide. He will pass the baton to me, and then I will um, then sort of give you a little bit of insight of what to expect in Rome. Yeah. Right. If, if anything, you, if you want guided tours, come to me. Right. Come to me for guided tours. Okay. I'm getting along. Can I just take that? Make our way in the way. No, the. Yeah, it's pointing. Look at the colour of this one. I'm going to just stroke it, make sure it's not mine. That's not mine. Yellow mustard. It's not mine. Yo. Oh, there he does. Yeah. No. Oh, yes. Oh. Simon, thoughts? It's going alright, I'll give you that. So, Andrew, what do you think of this rather intuitious door kind of sign? I think, it's, I think it's perfectly sensible to be honest. You don't want people grinding your doors, do you? Oh, you just have anarchy in the streets, wouldn't you? So, uh, well, it's very, I think it's very... Well, the signs were there, I mean, if everybody did that... If everyone did that, there'd be chaos. There'd be chaos in the streets. Absolute chaos. Everybody else get into trains. There'll be, there'll be... Well, now you have a lot of Alex Parrot. Yeah, well, Ollie, this is Alex Parrot. Um, as you can see, if you pan out there, you can see a very um, should point out, I've already been to Rome uh, with the family, but um, it, you know it's nice to come back with a load of mates. Nice so um, I, I, I was born here. I was born right there. You see that? You see that there? You see that cafe? The internet cafe. That is where I was born. You know, it takes me back, and uh, it's a bit hot, but you know we'll get used to it eventually. It's already good. Was it internet cafe when you were born? Was it internet wasn't invented? It was, it was an abattoir. It was an abattoir. You know, I was yeah. I was here when Mussolini was in charge. Yeah, yeah. I love standing in these shops and they're all so so like small. <laughs> small. <laughs> Good. So forgive me, forgive me. Get that church at the shop. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's quite nice. It's more than quite nice. I feel like St Paul's Cathedral. It's a bit sort of. It's quite nice. It's also nice that there are not many tourists there actually because you need. It's closed off. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's good that it's closed off because because when it just gets really busy, you know, it, you, you don't really enjoy it as much. You get people like here rabbiting on all the time. Doesn't really. <laughs> well, like Andrew. But you know, yeah, it is impressive. Look at that. You know, I think it, I think it's of John Paul, um, who. It isn't the current Pope, he was the one before. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, there, there isn't much I can say about this topic, to be honest with you. Um, the Vatican is situated within Rome, and it's very important. That's, that rock obviously means something to a lot of people. Um, but for me, I'm not, I'm not really sort of in line Do you like the location with the, like, the bus station in the background? Oh, I think it's fitting for bus drivers, you know. You know, when they're driving around in the heat all day, you know, at least they've got the Pope to look at. And, uh, yeah. You know, he's a bit of inspiration for them. Oh, Simon, that's your vehicle. <laughs> it's actually a Land Rover. Yeah, we're just in this museum. Um, like, some of these faces actually look like Voldemort. I mean, I mean, if, if you look at them, all their noses have been chipped off. So. And, it, and if you look at his ear, it's been. I mean, I don't know whether the sculptor intended that to happen. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it just fell. Or whether, or, or whether people just sort of, you know, people had rough noses back then. Um, I mean, if you, if you do this full turn, it looks like an alien. Look at his head. Just get a detail on the face. Yeah. I mean, if you look here. Portrait characterised by an imposing bald head with pulsating veins. Mm. Bald head with pulsating veins. Who's that remind you of? Oh God, Voldemort. Or my dad. Actually, my, my dad when he gets angry at me. Bald head with pulsating veins. Yeah. Have you seen this? Do you must like, I know some of these heads are like a, a little bit out of proportion and what have you, but I mean that that is Jasper Dunning like. 
Honestly. I mean, if you put your head next to it, just. I mean, if you look, I mean, I, I mean, look at my head next to it. And, and apparently, this kid was only six. So he was obviously the cleverest in this class at school. Oh, bloody hell, it's massive. Jeez. Yeah, this is delicious. Just having a lasagna. This is our um, first evening meal off the trip. Lasagna with a mixed salad. It's very tasty. And it's good value for money. It's 15 euros overall. I doubt we're going to get a better deal everywhere else. Is it the best lasagna you're going to taste in Rome? It certainly is one of the best, definitely. Certainly for 10 euros. And the environment of the place. Oh, it's very Italian. Yeah. I mean, li li I mean all you got to do is listen to this music. You can't get more Italian than this place, really. Go down in a fusible box. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Which I will. That's an even smaller. What are you looking at? I'm looking at. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at this here. Yeah. Classical. Oh, there's a. If you come round here. There's a classic one. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we're going to uh, the Coliseum today. Should be all right. Um, it's like the big tourist attraction in Rome. And. Uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully we're going to avoid all the queues and um, yeah, we can get in. It's, it's going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the highlight of the trip while we're in Rome, um, no doubt. Um, what have you thought of the hostel and your night's sleep? The hostel, yeah, um, to be honest, I, I, I don't actually have a problem with the hostel, to be honest. It's actually, it's actually alright. I mean, I, I had to resort to putting my mattress on the floor because if you look at this, I mean, honestly, look, look at this. There, there is no back support whatsoever. It's, 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 you may as well sleep on a hammock. Seriously, it's like, oh, it dips down. So what I had to do was just sleep down there on the floor. And it was actually all right. I mean, Ollie, Ollie snored a little bit, but, you know, other than that, it, it was all right, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, was, it, it was quite a long night, but um, it, it, it was bearable. Definitely. How do you find it, Andrew? Oh, I slept like an absolute dream. It was great. Um, didn't realise anything. Hill made some funny noises though. We no, were no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I don't think I, don't think I did. I, th I think Just you before you went to sleep. I, I don't, don't make noises. I don't say anything at the time because I didn't want to wake everyone up. You're like. I think I had that as well. <laughs> no, I did. Did anybody hear kind of like fireworks this morning? It was like. Pew! Oh, that's when you're shooting pigeons out the window. Ah. Oh. Sorry about that. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. I might get like the uh Yeah, yeah maybe tomorrow actually. I don't know, I'll see I'll see. Yeah, to be honest, so we're here at the Palatino. Now to be honest with you, I have no idea what's in it. But I'm guessing it's some sort of uh, historic um well, I really don't know actually. I'm oh, obviously looking forward, forward to going in. Huh? What? Looking forward to going in. I am actually. It's gonna be great. We see it's from the outside. It looks pretty old. Have you have you been tempted by any of the various uh, items? I think I have a strategy. Either blank them, either blank them, or just say no, no. No. See, so, see that 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 was a good outside idea. Yeah. Either, blank them, no. either blank them. Either blank them. Rude. You're British, say. you've got to be a bit more yeah. polite. We're curious, it's no thank you. I think I think with these guys you have to be firm, yeah, firm. Yeah. you let them down easily. Yeah. Just make sure you say blank them and that's my strategy. That's how I would deal with them. You move along with us. What was the first thought when you came into the room, Charles? Um, it don't look like I'm appreciating it. I was like, I was like, wow. It is, it's huge, isn't it? Stunning. Yeah. I can't really get a proper idea of what it would look like, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. Because there would have been wooden balustrades and the floors to it, which have fallen away, but you still get an idea of the sheer size. Yeah. Puts us to shame. Magnitude. Our architectural uh, achievements to shame. Mm. We don't build like we used to. These guys used to. They did it properly. They did it properly. The time. Style. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have another snack.
Paris have another snack. I think. Eddie, what do you think of the view? Well, you know, it's just, I think it's amazing to see for so far. Obviously, the amazing Coliseum. That's, that's, that's what you can say. Forward. You can see <laughs> so far. Oh, see really far. That's fine. Nice. Well, what should I say? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Look at it. Look where you are. It's good. Look what are you looking at? See the bottom of the A bunch of trees. Ah. Oh. Simon, what do you think of the view? This. What have you done, Parrot? I'm gonna have to get. Oh, I'm gonna have to get another lunch or something. Yeah. No, seriously. So salty as well. Sure thing, John. What What was the problem when the order? So what? When I say when he says fish and chips, I think he means fish, fish and chips, not fish and crisps. Nice Olives. It's a nice fish. Do you like? It's all right. Yeah. I mean, the fish is okay though. But I'm not. I'm not really. I I don't really want to have like a load of crisps. I'll, I'll eat your crisps.